Hey everybody, Hooterville75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy. I think she's back here somewhere. Yep, there she is. But anyhow, I have started the M48A2 135th scale monogram patent tank. And I don't know if anybody else has built this kit or not, but there seems to be some fit issues that I'm struggling, well not struggling with, but I'm going to have to attack here right off the get-go. Right now I'm just in the beginning stages here. I'm just mocking stuff up, getting stuff ready for paint. This is a whole lot of olive drab. <laughs> all these parts get painted olive drab, so I'm going to paint some, build some, paint some, build some, but I was putting this together a little bit, marking it up, trying to see how things were going to fit, and there seems to be something that I created myself, if I can get down in here, you can see that gap right there. This plastic, for some reason, just seems to be really, really soft and brittle, so when I, this is two halves here that go to fit together, and when I was cleaning it, it seemed like the plastic just stripped off real, real easy, like it was real brittle. And as I was cleaning it, you know, you can see the, see the gap that I created here from shaving too much off. So that's something that I'm going to have to putty up, putty up and, you know, tidy up before I, before I paint. So, I'm kind of going in subsections here, so what we see here is sections one, and then two, left and right, and then three. So, that's the way I'm going to go about it first. So, I'm going to paint all this, and then assemble it, and then just go from there. The tracks, I noticed for this kit, remember I haven't built many tanks, but... These tracks just seem like really sturdy tracks. I mean, the other ones that I had were all soft and not soft, but like really chintzy. These are these are really thick, really thick, and seem like really nice tracks for rubber tracks. That is, I mean, like I said, I don't really know much about tracks, but these just seem like pretty pretty sturdy tracks. So, I mean, it's a little different setup than the Tamiya tracks are, too. If you can see that end, it fits in this hole and then just, like, snaps down. I can't set the camera down or I'd, I'd show you. I'll try to do it with one hand here. I mean, it's kind of like a dog leash, like a dog collar. It fits through there and then just snaps down. You know, just to tack it to CA glue and it's finished. You don't have to melt anything like you do with the Tamiya, Tamiya tracks. You don't have to heat anything up. You know, just put it through the hole and snap. So that that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Just cleaning some parts up and getting ready to do some painting. And we'll be back tomorrow with another... Another build update. Get these parts painted up and then get it all assembled, puttied up, tidied up, painted, assembled, and we'll do another build report tomorrow. So that's what I'm currently working on the M48A2 patent tank. After that comes the big boy chieftain. I've decided I'm just gonna do it. So, doing this one for a little practice and then. We're going to tackle this bad boy that Howard sent me, the 125th scale Tamiya Chieftain. So, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Getting ready to bring in the new year. Be safe. Safe travels to everybody. Stay alive. Don't drink and drive. Hand the keys over to somebody else if you're going to be driving. So, five minutes. That's good enough 
check everybody out in the next video. Till then, this is where we're at, fellas. Working on the M48A2 patent tank. So, hopefully have all this painted and assembled tomorrow and give another report then. Till then, for now, Peterville 75, checking out. See ya, fellas.